I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to the episode of DJ Projects. So this week at DJ Projects, you can mostly be seeing driveway. What else have we seen, Steve? Problem with gates, levels, and all sorts. Yes, problems. Massive problem. Well, not massive problems. No. Nah. Solutions, not problems. Well, it is a problem, but we haven't caused it. What else have we got? We have got a visit from a Mexican for some reason. Yeah. All the way from Mexico to come see your boys at DJ. And girls. <laughs> Unbelievable. We've seen a bit of crushing. We have seen. Have we seen any shredding? No. No. We need to get some more shredding in the videos. But you're going to see lots of action and lots and lots of hard work from the boys and girls of the EJ Project. Let's get to it. On it. Hey, video. Look at video. Steven didn't film it because it's the laser. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is cool. That paint's out there. Good as Santa. Straight out, look. One pull. Yeah. So the gate guy. Put an automated gates here. I'm going to get a number for you, Chris, as well. Yeah, if he's got a card, uh, if he hasn't already had it done. But yeah, he puts up his number anyway for automation. He's going to put a post here, post there, put a bit of a duct in here, a bit of a duct there to go to that cable there. Uh, we're going to leave him there to do this because we'll be out his way. What we're going to do, all that soil and the soil there, we're going to pile it here because the customer don't own this land. No. We thought they did. Yeah, we thought it did. We're going to pile it there, just make that good. Uh, I don't think we're going to need many more grabs on here, to be fair. We'll see. But I'll track that in, make that good. Might bring Tiger Bite back out to push that, I don't know yet. But why we've got that. Well, Finn's back Monday. He's on hire, straight away. What, Monday morning? Yeah. Oh, there we go. He's hired out. Fair enough. He didn't watch the video, so I'll have to tell him Monday. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, he's on hire, so. Well, yeah. yeah. Man in higher, get remember guys. Yeah, for sure. Uh, then we'll track this down. I've got a meeting this afternoon with Rubble Crusher. Mm. It's been interesting. The guys coming all the way from Mexico. Let's have a look. See the yeah. Pretty crazy that is yeah, today, it is but. Pretty crazy. But they're a 90 gram machine, aren't they? So I suppose yeah. if you're spending that kind of money, you want to see it in action first. Yeah. Make sure it's going to do what it wants to do. As long as it's not Pablo Esteban. Who? Pablo Esteban, is it? Who's that? Pablo. Pablo. Pablo Escobar. It's not Pablo. Yeah. Wants to put drugs through it. Yeah, that's cut it. Cut it up. Yeah. So she'll be all right. Is it Pablo? Pablo. Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Pablo Escobar. I don't know who you said. I don't know. Who I said. <laughs> you made some up. <laughs> Big Nottingham gangster. I said. <laughs> Yeah, we've got plenty to do still. There is absolutely loads of... Uh, why I've gone, Stephen will probably get to the stage, he'll probably level a bit of this though and that. Uh, he can start ripping some of this out, because this is coming out nice. Yeah, some of the edge row. Some of that's coming out. Just need to end up like that. Uh, there is some stumps, if fancy tackling stumps. Like these ones. Yeah, that could all be dragged out. We've got the rake now, and also it'd be a lot easier with the rake. Yeah. A nice little job there for Steve. Uh, that's about it, isn't it, mate? Yeah, we've got about an hour, hour and ten minutes before you leave, so. Yeah, we'll probably get all that soil shit. Oh, but dumpers here. If anyone's that didn't watch the last video, killed, killed the dumper. So. Dumper's coming today, so I'll show you the struggle. Yep. Well, shout out to Frankie's, they got us straight away. Now, I don't know if that's because it's D&J Projects or that's just the sort of thing that you can get. Normally, these are out, aren't they? On site already. Yeah, to be fair, they are really good on the tyre. So, big shout out to Frankie. It's cool, yeah. isn't it? It's a big one. You can tell that you're high up when you sit on it. That's for sure. Yeah, it's a good bit of kit, though. No brake, no handbrake, which I find strange, but if it works, it works. Stops itself. Stops itself. Controls are on the opposite side though, so you gotta get used to that. Yeah, as is 750, this is a one ton. I'm sure it's, yeah. Yeah, ours, ours are on the left. 
Put in reverse, isn't it? No gears. No gears. Automatic. Yeah. Good bit of kit. Let's crack on then, mate. Let's get it shifted. Set up for a time lapse. Big J jizzles non-stop since we filmed. Four minutes, 21, he hand stop. That's what we like. Yeah. It'll get taken on, it'll get taken on full time and it'll go downhill. It'll slow down. Just keep him not, don't give him an answer. Just, just say, yep, same time tomorrow, mate. <laughs> yeah, we're not that, we're not, we're not that evil, guys. Treat him like a mushroom. Treat him like a mushroom. Fed in the darkest. All right. The expression, the, the phrase. The phrase, that comment down below. Treat him like a mushroom. What is the rest of it yeah, down yeah. below, guys? We can't say it on camera. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Also, it's been cleaned. I come back and it had had a wash. Look how nice they look. You can't tell me they're not amazing. Awesome bit of kit, that. Company, we are helping out uh, the the gate man. We'll say I don't know what his title is, but sorting him out and sort of digging his sort of hole, getting the concrete out. What's the point of him struggling for an hour while we've concrete when we've put it out with the uh, with the center? It's all coming to we are, guys. Need to shave as well. Thought I was way too long. Go back to our number one or something. Yeah, catch up in a sec. So the meeting went well, that's the guys at Rubble Crusher, so they come to see, that guy there is all the way from Mexico. So he's come from Mexico, he's come to have a look at the Crusher, Chris's Crusher, and see it in action. So he's potentially buying one to put in the higher market, but look who's here, look. Look, listen. He's not sure, look, he's gonna buy me, isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely gonna buy me, he's not sure. He has to, Devil dog. Oh, no, he's going. So yeah. we'll, we'll leave Leardak alone. I know he'd only gummed me to death because he ain't got no teeth. He's no, he's left it open. He left it open. Yeah, he's left it open. He's at me. Yeah, he won't, he won't get out. 
<laughs> it's lazy, lazy dog. So yeah, I'm gonna get, catch up with Jordan around the back, see what he's built to, because he is doing a bit of crusher. I'll show you the rubber crusher in action. What's that? Mexican candy. Oh, let's get some Mexican candy. Let's, let's get me some Mexican candy. Let's give you. Let's get me some Mexican candy. Oh. So yeah, we'll catch up around the back. Here he is, look. He's got two jobs going on at once, haven't you, Christopher? I have, indeed. Because I'm a busy man. So we've decided that's carbon clutch. Yeah, did I know what happened here? Have you informed your... Is this, is this your YouTube community, David? Yes. Have you informed them what happened here? You know, about the clutch all, like, disappearing? It's, this, this thing here, look, let's show them. Let's show the audience. Yeah, sure. If you do want a more in-depth right. video, go to, the Strugglers go to the Strugglers channel. But we'll just show you brief snippet. Yeah, what's it? This is meant to have a carbon thing in. Yeah, Dave sussed this out. You see, I couldn't work it out. I was, I was expecting to have a metal bearing in there, and, we, and I thought, well, it must have dropped out. But we looked everywhere, nowhere. And so then Dave Googled it. Carbon, that's why it's... Disintegrated. Got, disintegrated. Into and it's in, is that the bell item? Yeah, is that the called bell the bell item? item? Yeah. So that's the release bearing. I'm there. learning on the job, look. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, Dave. So that's covered in carbon. What is that in there? Actually, that fell in there. They're, they're wee bits. No, they're no, no. Can I chuck them? <laughs> so yeah that's that we're waiting for a carbon is it release bearing yeah carbon release bearing which i've just ordered off the internet ebay special it'll be wrong when it gets there but yeah it's meant to have a bit of carbon in there so that that job's come to a halt don't worry about that on the floor we'll sort that out we've got a spill kit here we're not bothered about a bit of oil guys are we no, so we got sawdust, have we? That not be there tomorrow. And this one, we have got a nasty oil leak, can't we, mate? We're just going to set a light out oil on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we're only joking, aren't we? Ain't? We're only joking. No, we're not, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're not. We're going to put sawdust down first, then we're going to set a light to it. Obviously, yeah, it'll burn better. Obviously, we're going to we're going to leave all that wood there as well. <laughs> hey, what's that? Oh, we are insured though, so we're all right. But anyway, <laughs> we've had no oil in this because the oil's all over it, basically. So we've had this problem before. It was diesel before, wasn't it? Yeah, it was diesel. That's, that, uh, yeah. But this is definitely oil this time. It, it was diesel that identifies as oil, but yeah, definitely oil. Yeah, definitely oil this time. So now we're going to put some oil in it and see where it's coming from. But you said just up there, didn't you? I don't know. You'd, you'd assume it'd be the highest point, wouldn't you? Assumption, the mother of all, isn't it? Because it'll go down, won't it? So you'd assume it's the highest point, but I don't know, mate. We're not sure. What's we are not happen? sure. But yeah, as soon as we find out, I'll show you. So we found it. It's up, up in there. So it looks like it's just behind the airbox. So we're going to whip the airbox off and have a look. The side shift's been broke on this for a long time. I've managed to get some fluxless wire. Oh, gasless wire, not flux. Gasless, I, I, I gasless wire for the struggler, for the welder. So when he comes, it can do a bit of welding when he needs to be. We've just done it, but because it's been that long, the hydraulic pipes are leaking. Cool. So we just nipped them up. And now it's absolutely beautiful. Go on, George, all the way, George. He's a good man, George. Absolutely brilliant. Waiting for parts on them too. So that's a bit of a standstill. Parts coming Friday. We'll get that sorted. But yeah, it's nearly the end of the day. It's another day at DJ Project. See you in the morning, guys. Good morning. It's an early one today. I've just met the customer on the side because the guy, gate guy who's doing the electric gates was a bit concerned about the levels. Our levels fall. Let me spin you around. Our levels fall straight across land into an echo all the way down and there's a bit concerned about the gap underneath the gate which I, I said they won't be too bad the dog won't get under but from bottom line to top line that's going to be the gap underneath the gate and he's a bit, little bit concerned about that so i said that and me and the customer oh, the dog's not even going to get his head through that it's literally it's a fist so yeah that's that's the level uh we've got loads of stone to do absolutely loads of stoning to do today we left the pop bottle on there surely for so we don't run over it and we can see it 
But yeah, it's looking good. It's looking really, really well. It's gonna be sleeper time soon, I think. As soon as he's put them posts, so we can come off there with the sleepers. But we can get loads of stone here. It's probably two loads of stone. Probably another 30 ton. Might be 35, 40 ton. By the time we've just brought levels up over there. Crush that. We'll leave this to the end. And see, we might just level that off to make that look good. This has got to be dug out, remember? There's fencing going along here to join up with a pedestrian gate, then his gates. Stevie's ripped that out yesterday. So I can black blade some of that soil back. Because it is decent soil. Because I think it's, it used to be farmland. So it's going to be good soil. But people did say, why do I take the digger back? I take the digger back at night because we do use it at night time. At the minute, we've only got one digger, so that's what we do. We take it back at night. I know it's not even that far from the yard. I think it's 15, 20 minutes from the yard. So it's just easier. Just take it straight back. Then I've got it then to use in the yard. But that's where I'm going now because Stevie's on deliveries and his last delivery is in Clifton. And this isn't far from Clifton, so I'm going back to get the digger. So we are back at the yard, just hooked the trailer up. I'm gonna get my yellow vest. Put my boots on and then start our day. Jack got some love in the comments. I bet you didn't read them, did you, mate? Yeah, you got some love in the comments, didn't you, mate? Yeah, We're just having a holly or holy. I'm saying holy. Yeah, I think it's holy, isn't it? I'm saying holy. Cactus so, camel. Don't forget, DJ Projects 10. Yes. Support your boys and girls at DJ Projects. Save yourself some pillars. Yeah. So we do, actually, you don't need a shaker as well. You could just put all that, that little sachet, in there, get a shake, and you're ready to go. This one or that one, mate. Boys are going to smash this art. All lines set. We've lasered them all. We've dropped the line a little bit just to help the guy with the with the gates out. Well, I'm going to head back to the yard now. Um, I'm going to catch up with Ant. Ant's got some difficult grabs to do, so. I'm just going to jump on the grab with Ant, give him a bit more experience, a bit more training. Just why I, I don't need to be here actually, because Stevie needs more training in the in the digger, and it's just leveling stone, so I could be doing other stuff. Like you guys keep on saying to me in the comments, let someone else drive the digger. Then no, no, mate, you seen that? I did see that. And someone said, but I don't know if they think my leveling's good or what, but they said, has it got GPS in the in the digger? <laughs> <laughs> Or are you doing that by eye? These laser eyes cost a lot of money, so I might as well use them. But yeah, I'm going to mix this up, be on my way, and catch up with that. Didn't film that one because we're on the road. Uh, Post Creek could only get it there. I just put the decking up there, and the guys just come down. They wanted it up behind the skip, but I don't think we'd get the wagon up there. It's nice and tight with swinging round to that road. So next one is, what is it, mate? Bag, bag pickup? Bag pickup, yeah. Bag pickup. I hope this one's in the right place and we can reach. On to the next. Hey, BP paving getting the money's worth. Definitely got your money's worth there, boys. On and gone. Sanchez just grabbed it on there now. It'll put the arm up. I'll do the sheet for him. The sheet, little buttons here. I'm going to put the leg up, pad away. First, does the arm. So, we have to tuck it behind the sheet now. So, nice and steady, chucks it behind the sheet. You'll lift that up, we'll put that away, and then we're on our way. Good afternoon, guys. We've been stopped in our tracks from Gateman. We need to get that post in. Which is, we could have done with getting rid of that stone first. Because now we can't really put the digger there. So now we've got to do the digger the opposite way around. Yeah. So 
one of them days. So then, wet, wet, wet day. Probably going to be a late day as well because we've got to pick out some some posts on an old fencing job that we did. I say old, like a week ago. But yeah, this is what we've been doing. I'm going to spin you around, guys, and show you. So we've stockpiled a load of stone up here because the heights, after a rejig with the customer, because we did the original step from this, so it was a big step, but customers asked if we can do a little step now. So we're just below the concrete, at top of concrete down there. So it runs ever so slightly to the echo drain down there. We've got the pathway there that runs slightly up to the, the blocks. They're not the blocks, the brickwork, sorry. And then obviously it'll fall that way again. So obviously water won't go that way. It'll fall that way into the drainage one that we've got here, which is the black ice. And then obviously this will run across. Me and Big J Jizzle, we've whacked and pulled this about. It will all get rolled, of course, guys, but we'll like to get a whacker on it as well. We've got our lines that we were working to. This can be slightly higher than we need it to be because, again, black ice. It's not block work. Block work is working from sort of curved angle, sort of like to the sleeper. So this bit, you see how we're below line? See how we're below line, guys? Good compaction. And then, obviously, we've been stoning all this. This bit's been whacked. This bit hasn't been whacked or rolled. Again, aiming always for around about a rake below the, uh, the string line. Same on this side, just here. You see it, guys? About a rake's width on the string line. But then, uh, customers obviously had his gate man come in and put those boxes in. Now, I don't know if they're running level. One on the left is running in line with our original string line. You can see the line just there. The one on the right, I don't know what's gone off or what's happened or if it's level, but the driveway is supposed to be running down like that, agreed with customer, into the ACO that is going to be running across all of the sleepers. So this drive is always going to be like that. So the gate will be like that. So you can run it level, but there'll be a tiny little triangle pie or uh, pie, triangle pie thing at this side of the gate. So now I don't know if that's the reason that that box is looking sky high but we didn't set the line like that we let the, the guy just do his thing with the line of course he's got to move the line to get the boxes in that's not a problem but i'm just not sure if he's moved it too much because look at the driveway flying down this is going to have a feathered in tarmac because that was original height there where we've done the line but it sort of runs up and then back down See what I mean, guys? Miles up that fence, we were going to roundabout Batten. We think our line was down here. See it, guys? So I don't know if that's too high. I'm not sure. Obviously, because this box is in the way now, the line will just stick anywhere. But when the box weren't there, you can see where we had our line. It, it weren't up there like that. You can see what the box is doing to the line, kicking it way down here. So I'm not 100% sure. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But we're ready to go. We've got some posts to pull out with the sun here. Let's get out of here. They don't want to film last. Me and Anxious stood. <sighs> Weather's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Puddles everywhere. Stevie's back. Uh, we did pull some posts out on the way back. That's why we were a bit later. But they've all pulled out now. Just digger to come off. It's going to get the boys out now. Get it inside. And then they'll pull the van round, I think. So yeah, I think we'll leave it here. Another day. B and J. See you in the morning. Hello, guys. Good morning. It's Friday. And as Dad says, everybody loves a Friday. It's myself. Big J Jizzle, been getting a lot of love in the comments, so we appreciate that, guys. Uh, it's a fence installed today. We're taking down a composite gate. We're putting a tongue and groove gate in. This one's coming down, guys. You can see it's faded. I guarantee it did not start that color. Don't know how much it's faded, but there's no way it would have started that color there. But this is it. This is the back. Yeah. Or get it down, the magic fingers. We've got posting. We've got blocks going around our post again. 
that's what we like to see like as if nothing ever happened we've got our timber on the wall we're ready to go guys Dad's at the yard now we're just about to find out if dad's gonna bring the gate out to us and then we shoot to the driveway job or we'll come back and do the gate later in the afternoon once we've done everything for the uh, driveway job but dad's just gonna speak to jamie now it all depends how fast Jamie can get the gate done, but it is a tongue groove bow top, so it take a little bit longer than normal. Obviously, you've got to plane everything off. It's not more of a rough sawn gate like a Feveridge. I guess, oh, I guess that's why they cost a little bit more, right? Because there's a bit more work that goes into them. But yeah, it's going to look nice though. I do love a tongue and groove gate. Very, very nice. Good colour. I like the natural colour. Let us know. What's your favourite gate? Rough sawn, tongue groove, hit and miss, composite. Let us know in the comments down below. Good morning. It's Friday morning. It's me, it's Ant, it's Gate. Steve was meant to do this gate, but he's done the posts. I think I've double sixed him, really. I think I've sixed him up. I've done the easy bit, really. So he's done the hard bit, the big J, Jizzle. He's put one post in and one post on the wall, and we've got the easy bit, hinges, uh, Suffolk latch, or I'm going to give the customer the option of a key arc, because this was done off... Uh, the internet and i think we was recommended from dean saxton so big shout out to dean saxton for recommending us he's the guy that did my bathroom my ensuite bathroom and my normal bathroom so yeah big shout out to him you might probably find him on instagram i'm sure he's big on instagram but the customer's coming now i'm going to discuss what lock she wants and then we'll catch up and then do the first one because you learned to dean saxton didn't you yes yes mate yes you just yeah so guys it wasn't Dean Saxton, but recommended it. It was another Dean. It was DMP Joinery. Uh, an old gym friend. So this is the gate. It entails. Seal of approval. Nice. Shuts on itself. Bolt. Good looking gate. Bow top. Jamie's made a fantastic job of this. lovely shuts on itself capping strips they did have a composite one before didn't like it twisted it dropped color but now nah, they're going to leave this for about six months to a year wait until all this preservative's gone and then hit it with some preservative or paint just to give it that protection but now we are off up to steve i believe we might need some more stone so we'll get up there and then Ant will probably go back and get some stone so next time we see us, we're on site. So we are on site. Sun's coming back out. Shorts have come back out. Raking piles to this string line, following it through. That line there, so we know that's around about perfect level there. But that one that runs up, that just runs past, that would be coming down a bit. So it's not as high as that, but we can run a, a great level across there. So we know, because we know it's pretty much level at the top of this drive. Uh, yeah, have I got a tripod? I think I have. In fact, I'll just trip you on down here and you can watch us from here. leveled off over there need a little bit more string line is at the right height we just set it up with lasers as you can see left enough for a compaction cement mixed concrete with a block so we to say we had to sort of guesstimate this because this chap was messing around with that box we've not done too bad there we've had laser out we've set the laser to our driveway height that customer and dad have already agreed to this one and this here is basically what the gap will be underneath this gate because obviously they've wanted driveway coming down into an eco because obviously they get flooding from that big field which is understandable but we've set that pin in there tied the line round 
had laser on that because we ran a laser level from that post all the way down there or that pin to this pin and made sure that the levels were the exact same so that when we put the echo in it can be like that and then we can fall it back down how we need it rather than this being sort of all over like this and then trying to run that echo back down it'll look a bit daft so run it level then drop the echo back down into it ever so slightly of course so that pin is now level with this pin so basically this whole string line is level but that's the difference between that and the box so you imagine this being oh, it's a bit big you imagine this being a block a block paver obviously it would be up at the box but that's what it would be there to the line but look how tall that box is I don't know what the plan is yet I let my dad with a plan my master plan come and see what's happening with this because I don't know and no idea we'll drive angled gates I guess but I don't know so we have arrived on site but lads KFC so we're gonna have KFC and then we're gonna crack on with the drive We're having a right mare, aren't we, mate? It, it, this is when other people get involved into our job. Yeah. It ends up slowing us down. Normally. Ant's checking the oil on the, the whacker plate. Normally so. we'd do the post ourselves, wouldn't we? Yeah, 100%. So, we had 100 mil fall, which is a good fall, because I wanted everything to run off that, that field. So now we've got a 50 mil fall from that line to that line. His box is 10 mil... Well, he, he's working on a bit of steel and a level. So we're working on laser level. So there's no, it's going to be accurate, isn't it? So that box is 10 mil too high now. Whether he'll come back and alter it, I don't know. But what we're going to do, because he's just slowing us down, we're going to try and get a bit of stone in here, because this pipe's going to be right. That's not going to alter. It's just going to be these boxes. So you might have to shave a bit off the box. I don't even know how they're fastened in. Got bolts there. So, I'll leave it up to the customer whether they want to ring him up, tell him to drop that box to the line and raise that one higher or equal them out by dropping. What is it? Is it 45, 35? 45 in the centre of give or take that. But it's 10 mil too high. But it's 10 mil too high. So, that'll give it 35 mil. So, it's 35 mil full. So, yeah, so. If you shared 35 mil, so what's that, 17 and a half? Huh? 17 and a half on each. Yeah. So if you raise that 17 and a half and drop that 17 and a half, that'll be level still. That'll in turn only leave so much out and so much out, or so much in and so much out on the blocks, which won't look too bad. We can, we can work with that. This side won't be too bad anyway because the pedestrian gate going here. So I can make this work. This can be level. This pedestrian bit can be level with slightest fall on just to get the water to run down and down there. So we're just going to work with that now. Add five, five, yeah. seven, yeah. Oh, so to be fair, 20 minutes from 50. Uh, lines, 100 mil. So we've got 50 mil of... Garbo base it there and a 50 mil block. Exactly the same there. Up there, everything's sand. We're about ready for laying blocks. Remember, there's a curve going around here. There's a curve from top of there going back around. There is a, a marker pin over there or datum point. But I think stone in, get this to near enough. And if the guy wants to come and have a look, he can come and have a look.
We're loaded up guys. We've got some spoil ready to take. We've got some concrete. We've got the curve of the gate, the pedestrian. Coming through the pedestrian gate. Little curve round. That might curve back round that way as well. Onto the driveway. Yeah. Got rid of these piles. Obviously we've got a scrap. It's coming on there. No, it's starting to take shape. Let me get a thumbnail. Let me get a thumbnail whilst I'm here though. Uh, if you come stand here, show them how it's done. Come forward, forward, forward. Yeah, point over there or something. Let's do whatever you want. I don't know what we're calling it, but. Hands crossed actually. Let's do the bad boy stance of hands crossed. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. And that's how we do thumbnails, guys. On the spot. No full editing crew here, is there? Because <laughs> of a day. Yeah, a day and Jay. We would have got a lot further. From... We don't call other traders. No, we're not really moaning at him or like that, guys. This is the first time he's experienced. Normally, he puts them in. And the drive's already in, so this is the first time he's experienced a fresh drive working to our level. Yeah. But we'll work with him and obviously help him out and stuff. And he's a good, he's a nice chap, isn't he? He's a nice chap. Fantastic teeth. Yeah, he has. Definitely been Turkey. Yeah, he's got fantastic teeth. But probably a bit too white. Yeah. Look a bit too unnatural. It's too like, perfect. Like Joey Essex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's. Yeah, so we'll get that out of there. We're not bashing. We're not bashing at all. No, 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 no. 100% we're not bashing. I want to I want to produce a fantastic drive and the gates to work so the dog don't get out. Because we've got a little French bulldog, haven't we? Mm, don't we know? So, yeah. Uh, we've got left to do on here. Stone in, but we've got a lot of hardcore there, so I think we're just going to need... Bring Tiger Bite. Bring Tiger Bite out to do that. Might as well, don't we? And then top up. Yeah, we're going to put sleeps all down there. We're going to run the ACO down there and then block work. And then once, you know, you know, guys, once we've done the block work, titivate with a bit of stone here than there. And then it's base. And then it's top top. Oh, I'm black ice over there. Oh, yeah, a bit of black ice over there. That'll look nice. We'll finish this property off lovely because we've had a lovely extension. Nice, nice bit of fencing. Yeah, nice yeah. garage. Nice, nice sleepers. Fencing. Composite fencing. Composite fencing. Hard standard because there's loads to do. Yeah, there is actually, isn't there? There is loads to do. Longer than a week here, aren't we? It's in front of two weeks. Another I two? Believe, I believe it's in front of two weeks, but there is fencing in next week. But yeah. Ideally, we could get could do with getting most of the blocks down next week, though, really. Yeah, you could. Fencing, though. No, See no, what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I love the blocking. Yeah, I know you do, mate. But I think we're going to conclude the video here. Yep. If you've enjoyed this episode, drop us a like. It costs nothing. Comment down below, because that costs nothing as well. Yep. We've had some fantastic comments. Yeah. Really, really fantastic. Big shout out for all the support. Yeah, massive shout out. Oh, yeah. hang on. The fight's already been, because this is Sunday. But who were they picking? Fiora or Usyk? Who was you picking? I'm going Usyk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want him to win anyway. Really don't like the way Tyson Fury reacts on his dad. Dad annoys me. Not his dad's him. annoying, but I think Tyson's all right. I think he's a good ambassador for boxing. But yeah, but he's always calling yeah, people. He goes on about mental yeah, health, and then he's always, and then he's always going on about gap tooth rabbit and all this. And you think, yeah, yeah, ah. it's, it's self fights, mate. It's like uh, you don't need Colin McGregor, innit? Don't need self fights when the side is a pain and whatever they want. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go Tyson, but. Going on his last performance yeah. with the USC guy. But did he take it seriously? Yeah. Probably not. But well, he up his game and all, hasn't he? Uh, Joshua. Yeah, I love him. I'm hoping that goes ahead because. In an ideal world, Joshua. Fury wins, they have a rematch, or the Saudi pay uh, Usyk step aside money, and it's Fury versus Joshua. Yeah, In an ideal world. Everyone's been waiting for that, haven't they? Before they get too old and past it. Yeah. But yeah. Enough of that anyway. Yeah, enough of that. <laughs> I get to subscribing. Yeah. It costs nothing to subscribe. 
what is it? 50% of you are not subscribed. Was so, it 51%? That's what I looked. You had a look, yeah. 49% yeah. of you are subscribed. 51% aren't subscribed, which like, watch the video. Yeah. Still pretty good, that is, because when I'm watching YouTubers and they put that up, it's like 70% aren't subscribed. Yeah. So we're, we're oh, smashing it. Guy. Yeah, so we're just, smashing just, it. Just check. It don't cost nothing. All you need is a Gmail account. There's a Gmail. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Gmail account. And they sub cons there. <laughs> and then you can subscribe. And ring the little bell, and you've been notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 12 o'clock when we put a video out. Yeah. That's nice, bye. That's lovely. Nice one, guys.